Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna be trying out some TikTok survival hacks. See if I can actually do them. I'm pretty confident in myself because I took a couple months of Cub Scouts, so I should be pretty good. <sighs> but our first life hack, splitting logs, but instead of doing it with an ax, we're gonna do it with a hammer instead. He takes the back of the hammer, slams it into the log, flips it over, and uses the force of the hammer to break the log. So let's see what we can do. We gotta get this in here real nice first. <laughs> Whoa! That worked way too well. We were trying this earlier with the hammer that we probably shouldn't have been using. It didn't work very well. Anyway, all right, here we go. Let's see if this works. Oh! Almost. I was a little scared of that first one. I gotta go full send this time. Ooh! Gotta get it right on this crack here, you know? That's not it. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, it's so close! Look at that! It just split all the way down there. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, that one actually kind of worked. The other guy seems like he's been doing it since he was six. All right, second attempt. I feel like Captain America in that one scene. Woo! Yeah, there you go. You now see that? that? That is sick. Oh, and there's a little stick inside the log. Look at that. I commit. Boom, dude, this is working so well. The other hammer didn't work because this was curved instead of straight. What's this called? The doohickey. Oh, because we got a, a, is that really what it's called? Are you freaking with me? Because the doohickey on the other hammer was bent, it didn't work. We made a trip to Walmart. Got a real Very hammer. dangerous. But we're back and we're splitting wood. Yeah. Don't try this at home, by the way, guys. As you can tell, I'm in my front yard. I'm not at home. You are at home, man. No, I'm in the front yard. <laughs> so as you can see, guys, we split the log. <laughs> <laughs> this log's done. So that was survival hack number one. Let's move on to number two and see what happens. We're gonna try to start a fire. Again, please don't try this at home. I don't want your parents to yell at me. Last time we tried to shoot this, there was a bunch of hornets around here. Hopefully there's not as many this time. Cause I hate hornets. It's like the only thing that I hate. This wasp is right next to my flipping leg. He likes you. He doesn't like me. I don't like him. Ah! Should I step on him? No. I think I should. They're part of the ecosystem. You need them. I'm part of the ecosystem. It's me. Or him. Yeah. Get free? Get the freak out of here. He's digging. Oh, cool. Dad, they're closing in on your position. Good. No. Be gone in the name of Jesus. You could start a nature channel. We could film insects for a living. Oh my gosh. That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> ah! We're not gonna build fire the conventional way unless we fail. This is what we are gonna do. What's this? Oh, this is the cotton balls. Sick. <laughs> hey dad, can I have a piece of gum? Breath is a little terrible mm -hmm. first of all i feel great because that's how you feel when you chew five gum second of all what we're gonna try to do is turn this battery and this piece of gum wrapper into a lighter like this mm, it's good gum first we have to make an adjustment to the lighter you're narrowing the path of electrons is that what it is mm -hmm. Yeah. Sick. Now we have cotton balls with petroleum jelly. This is a survival hack in a survival hack. You got two and three combined. You're welcome. Gonna reach in carefully. Don't want this to explode now. That was a joke, by the way. Probably not gonna explode. Gonna pull this thing out. My hands are disgusting now. It's okay. This gum is good. That's gonna turn to our fire starter. So if you're ever camping, get the Vaseline. What? Get the cotton balls. Mix them together in a plastic bag. Biodegradable, preferably. And you almost got yourself a fire. So hopefully this works. This gets very hot. I'm gonna take this stick. My hands are gonna get burned off otherwise. And then we're gonna take this. You ready? One, two, three. Nothing's happening. It's not the right wrapper. Oh no, is it not the right wrapper? Oh, my hands, ow. It's hot, why isn't it working? That didn't work. That's the number two. Five gum, you gotta be kidding me. Plan B. Perfect. Oh, look at that right There it away. goes, we're gonna take it up, throw it in the fire. Nice. We're gonna put some fire materials over it and then we're gonna nourish this fire. Here's the thing, while our fire's going, I got my favorite soda, Orange Crush. Take a little sip, that's nice. Relax for a second. Look at the sunset. <coughs> okay, dump out the rest, because it's unhealthy. While this fire continues to grow and nourish. Oops, I messed oh, it up. Well. We're about to make a stove. This is life hack number four. So this girl, she made some pine needle tea, and I want to try it, but I figured I couldn't just try it by going inside the house over there and cooking it up on the stove. Hi, Joy. So what we gotta do, we gotta boil ourselves a pot of our own. We're gonna take this, and we're gonna cut this into a stove. We'll be able to put a pot on top of this and turn it into a burner. So we gotta cut into it. Oh, hey, fire. Mm -hmm. That cotton ball trick is really working, huh? Please don't flame me for not knowing correctly how to use a knife. I went to Cub Scout school, so if you think that I'm wrong, then you're probably wrong. I don't think they'll let you play with knives and weeblos yet. Dad, don't discredit me in front of them. <laughs> and then we cut off the bottom here so that we got a really dangerous, jagged cut. Hey, Mom, can you um, throw me down a tiny pot? Sure. While we're waiting for my mom, I just want to give a public service announcement about my dirty jeans, first of all. Second of all, wearing the must-have snacks merch from More Day Stew, jstewshop.com. Also, I made my own merch and it's in prototype mode. It's not going to be available. What? Chill. Ow. Thanks, Mom. You're 
I have some prototype merch. It's already out. I ordered some myself to see if it's good. You can do the same if you'd like. Here, let's go over to the fire. And you can be an OG with the prototype Doi Yonder merch. When in fact, it's actually called Do Yonder. But everyone thinks that it's called Doi Yonder. It's kind of embarrassing. Anyway, so we have our pan. We have our crush. Hey, baby. <laughs> and move this fire. Currently on fire, so it's fairly hot. You get a pine cone. Bruh. Watch this. It goes into here as if it's a little, little canister. Click. Gonna put it at the bottom. Look at that. So now that acts as our gas. So get this out of the way of the fire so we don't get destroyed. Place this bad boy in the fire. Right in the middle. No! Okay, so now that that's on fire, go pour our water in here. Mm -hmm. Throw it on top. It's a little unstable because of the wind. <laughs> I haven't tested this out yet, guys. If this doesn't work, don't blame me. Oh, crush it down. Let's see what you did there. Crush. Ah! I think I just ruined it. We're still gonna try to salvage this. We're gonna put the, the pot Balance it on top of the crushed can. Oh, another can! All right, let's try this once more. We're gonna make a, a little space for it this time. We need a cotton ball. We're gonna make this work, guys. We're, I'm getting my pine needle tea by tonight. Oh man, I got more dirt in here. <laughs> Who would have thought that you would have found sticks in a forest? No, don't. That's my last <laughs> little bit of water. As you can see, our pine needles have been boiling for about seven minutes now. It's looking really, really tasty. So um, I would taste it, except for the fact that these are actually poisonous, I think. They say that there's a couple pine trees that are poisonous. One of those pine trees is called the Ponderosa pine tree. So I want you to tell me if you can spot a difference between this pine tree and that pine tree. Nope. I'm not too sure. We got the needles from that pine tree over there. Therefore, I don't think I'm gonna drink this, but the cool thing is that we know, and now you guys know, that some are poisonous and that you can boil pine needles. So can you spot the cans that we used? Cause I can't. I'm making the stove with the Coke can. Not quite sure if that's super plausible, but the cotton balls worked really well. And I'm sure that the battery chick would work if we had the right gum. Let's put this fire out with our poisonous needle stuff. All right guys, we're gonna try the next TikTok survival hack. This has to do with a pen and a rubber band. So the way that we do this is we take off the top of the pen, take the pen out. Now we gotta take off this end piece. This'll break your pen. No, don't do it to your mom's pen or something. From here, we're gonna take our rubber band and break it in half. Take the two ends, throw them into the tip of your pen. Throw the pen in there. Ugh. There we go. We take our rubber band pen. It works! I'm gonna try to hit that pine cone. So close. I see it though. I couldn't find it and there were way too many hornets. As in there was like one or two. On to the next life hack. This is a hammock. This is duct tape. I didn't even see this on TikTok, but I just wanted to try to make a duct tape hammock. Cause I love hammocks. Let's get started. They're stuck together. <laughs> we'll start with the straps. All right, the hammock's done. We're gonna try it. That may be featured on Epic Fails this week. All right. Seems pretty strong. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, it's working. I just gotta figure out how to sit in it. There's a hornet right under me. If I fall, definitely gonna get stung, but we gotta go for it. Ah. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh. We're almost there. We did it. Oh man, this isn't too bad once you get up here. Oh gosh, oh gosh. All right. Oh. Break. Don't speak me. 